Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another review. A brand that's new to me, it's not a new brand on the market, but I haven't tried it at all. Um, it's called Dr. Jart. So it is a Korean brand and the logo looks like this. Dr. Jart and it usually has like that plus sign after it. So I was really curious to try the formulations of their products. So I bought a bunch of sheet masks from them and I'm just going to review really quickly the ones that I've actually tried over the last week or so and then later on we are going to try one together and it's their rubber masks so I picked this one up it's the clear skin lover rubber mask it comes with two steps so I believe that you do this step first which is like a clear skin pack or a treatment face mask and then you put the rubber mask on second I'm not really sure it comes in this this cardboard packaging so we'll have to um, do it together now, later they range in price I believe the ones that you see in the store vary from six to nine dollars so these have the pill type looking packaging on them I have a purple one an orange one a yellow one a blue one and I believe they have a few more of these types also they sell sheet mask packs which is packs that are sold in four to six sheet masks and i bought one this was twenty dollars um, but you come with four sheet masks and the two that i've already tried is the brightening infusion and the pore minimalist and then the two other ones that the four pack comes with are the water replenishment and the all that contours so this is the pack that's sold together and then these are the ones that are individually sold so individually sold okay so let's start first with my favorites so my favorites always sheet masks are hydrating sheet masks because i have dry skin and out of these four the two that i really think are worth it is these two right here so the reason why i am picking the yellow one over all of them that i've recently tried is just because the essence on the sheet mask itself is just so hydrating just super creamy buttery and once you take it off you just feel like your skin a layer of vitamins especially if it's really parched and dehydrated this sheet mask is the way to go now it is a traditional single-use sheet mask meaning it's cotton it's a thicker texture and it's very slimy also the smell of it is lemon slightly lemony herbally smell if you don't like that if you have oily skin i wouldn't recommend this one but if you really have dry sensitive skin i 100 percent recommend the sheet mask out of all the ones i'm talk, going to talk about right now because this will instantly hydrate your skin put more nutrients and vitamins into it right away and you can tell the difference the next day the second one i mentioned was their soothing hydro solution deep hydration sheet mask this is my second favorite out of the line i personally was kind of skeptical about this because i was reading the ingredients in the back and one of their like fourth or fifth ingredients was alcohol okay this might not be that hydrating it might not do nothing for me but it did this is such a good sheet mask so this soothes dry skin and it also says it protects the moisture barrier it's a single use sheet mask coming in one piece and it is a gel like texture i really enjoyed this one too because I always talk about how there's traditional cotton sheet masks that it are like this one and then there's like that gel type jelly formula sheet mask that I love especially during summertime so I definitely recommend this if you have oily acne prone skin and you need a little bit of moisturization compared to this one now the other two that I did like but I don't know if I would be repurchasing right away are the wrinkle solution sheet mask and then also the brightening solution now the reason why I'm saying that these wouldn't be my go-to repurchases just because I didn't really feel like they worked as well. Now this one is the Wrinkle Solution, so it's an anti-aging one, which I do like to do an anti-aging mask at least once a week because, you know, you got to prevent instead of treat. This itself comes in two uh, gel-like, it's a jelly mask as well, but it comes in two different top and bottom layers it does slip and slide around and it was supposed to um, activate with body heat but i did not feel that at all i just felt like it was another kind of good so-so treatment sheet mask 
um, it wasn't anything too special that's why I'm just like you know I'll do it maybe repurchase it for the the anti-aging benefits of it but it wasn't my favorite and then this one the brightening solution sheet mask why I wouldn't reach for this one again or repurchase right away is because this burned my skin a lot of brightening treatments that if you do have sensitive skin kind of feel like they're like irritating where your dry patches are and everything so I did notice my skin looked a little bit brighter more luminescence to my skin the next day but I nah like I have very sensitive skin and it kind of made it feel a little like a burning sensation. These two though I really wanted to talk about because I did think that they were really effective. This first one is a pore minimalist one. The difference I've seen with the pore type sheet mask is they're not going to really deep clean the pores. I feel like they actually brighten the skin. Like they kind of dissolve the surface layer of sebum and oil on your face while you have it on but after you take it off and pat, off, pat the essence in they just really brighten up the skin without having like a heavy layer on it so if you do have oily acne prone skin i would definitely recommend checking out this sheet mask the one i just tried last night is the brightening infusion one this one honestly did not burn my skin as much as the this one this is a two layer sheet mask as well um, but it's textured so it has like a kind of gauze film to it and then it has like a jelly over it at first i thought that it had two layers and i didn't peel off the plastic or something but no it's just it's just the type of sheet mask it is the reason why i like this one is because the treatment makes you leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes skin was a lot brighter and glowy it didn't just look so hydrated as like some of the water sheet masks that do but it did look a lot more like within type glow and that was the quick review on the ones that i've already tried during the night time for my skincare routine so let's try together the rubber mask and see how it works like this smells kind of medicated let's just put this on So you have to leave this on for 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm just going to leave it on for 30 minutes and I will be back to see the results. So, okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. So I would say I am a little underwhelmed, not by the formula or the essence within the mask because I feel like it did do a really nice uh, treatment to my skin. But just the texture of rubber masks in general, this was my first time trying it out and I'm just like, ugh. So I do see why they make you do this first step, put essence literally all over your skin, drench it, and then put on the rubber mask. Because I feel like the concept of the rubber mask is to lock in the moisture and the treatment. Um, but... I would just rather skip one step and then just do the mask um, but I'm not going to give up on this I am going to try more rubber masks especially from Dr. Jart because I know that I'm going to get good quality essence within the mask but in general I would say if you had to choose go with the regular sheet mask. So that was everything for my sheet mask review on Dr. Jart. If you have any questions, please leave it down below and I will answer them. Give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos so I know to keep making them. And yeah, until next time, I will see you later. Bye.